Good afternoon. Uh, today is 2-1-4-2-2, a.k.a. February 14th, a.k.a. Valentine's Day. Ooh, it's a good day. Be a bad day. Uh-huh. Ow! What's happening? We're here to talk about some real estate investing with, with a strong emphasis on emphasis on wholesale real estate. Today's topic is what's the best phone number or phone numbers for wholesaling houses? Should you use your own phone number? Should you use another phone number? Should you buy another phone? Um, talked about this in, in the past, but you can never talk about some of these topics, topics enough. So thumbs up. If you like the uh, thumbnail, give me a hundy. If you don't like it, do a devil sign, a devil emoji. That's a good one. If you don't like it. Do a devil emoji. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, get, it, let's get it. All right. So, um, I think I set it up just because the community thing. Yeah, I know. Um, I just always wait to okay, okay, cool. All right, so um, got some plantains or plantains. I think that's the per- proper way of plantains. Mr. Beckham, where are you from? I'm from Birmingham. Mm-hmm. Tomato, tomato, plantains. Okay, plantains. plantains. You don't know what those are. Those are dried bananas, or no. the plantains are. They look like they're in the banana family. Yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I might crunch on those, but I'm a little hungry, so bear with me. You all don't want me to starve. Of course, you do not like I'm starving, of course. But while we're waiting on individuals to to uh, log on here, get your questions loaded. They know I'm going to have me set up here. Um, text the word Gator if you want to jump the line on Thursday night's live. On Thursday night's live, we um, were, um, hey, we didn't even take any questions. We had so many people on the live. They were just back to back to back to back. So we rolled. I don't know how that went over, uh, but we um, had so many people that were on the live, we just took those back to back to back. I don't know. So anyway, so text word Gator. That puts you to the front of the line. Follow the instructions in the text. Um. Contract, it just released a new contract video, uh, updated it for 2022. Text the word contract to receive the number one contract that's free for wholesaling houses. Is that an opinion or is that fact? We don't, know. We don't it's fact. Jack, Jessica says fact, so there it is. And what Mama D say? Um, in that it? order. In that order. All right, so text, uh, text the word text. If you want to learn how to uh, text message the correct way to generate leads, to find more deals, cash more checks, put more smiles on faces such as yours, text the word text. These plantains got me hot, a hype. Um, if you're out driving for dollars, you need a tool to do that with, text the word D4D to the number here. D4D. All right. Um, what else we got? Uh, oh, uh, most people fail in this game because they simply never understand what makes a great deal. Text the letters GD to the number 205-964-5243. And that video will explain how to get down, how to figure out if you have a great deal. Part B that you'll need is texting ARB to this number, same number, ARB for after repair value. And what else we got? Oh, if you want to partner, well, I forgot about those. If you want to partner with me, text the letters, the numbers, 5050 for houses and for apartments and self-storage and mini-storage. Text the word units, especially with the self-storage and mini-storage. If, um, what I'm trying to say, um, it, rural areas come into play. On top of that, if I have any civil engineers that are comfortable with um, developing 
vacant land, turning um, and architects. Am I saying that right? Architects. Um, if you have, if I have any of those in the audience, we can partner. You're probably making a good salary now. It might be brand new. You might be just new in the game. We can partner and explode your income with your skills and my network of individuals have an idea that I need the assistance of individuals that have those skill sets and that training. Civil engineers and art. Well, why you ain't told me that? Okay, well, there it is. I, well, Oksana says she got a cousin in Atlanta, so I guess that's it. But anyway, still out there. He might not want to work with me. So, um, how are you kidding? Now? What side? <laughs> what side of the family? Oh, what is that? Okay, on the black side. Okay, so um, there it is. Okay, so um, anyway, so the uh, silver engineers or architects, uh, please hit me up in the DM or through the 205 964 Let's get this bread. Really, you got some smart folks. I ain't got not I one. Said I don't have not one. <laughs> what that mean? We we have not <laughs> one in my family. Yeah, sometimes my cousins they always live. My mom lives here. I was about to say they can't leave. They probably live in Huntsville. Mm, some of them live in Atlanta. Some of them live in Texas. Oh, okay, sounds all right. Mm. All right, first one of the day came from Keystone Property Solutions from YouTube. They said, how many records should you pull when testing a new virtual market? Mm, what are you going to do with the records? Are you going to cold call, skip trace, direct mail? If you're going to uh, direct mail, probably a minimum of 5,000. Skip tracing, cold calling, at least. Well, for skip for text messaging, uh, 2,000 would be a fairly good number, but for skip tracing, ooh, if you're going to do cold calling through a speed dollar, 15,000 may be a good number, minimum. Okay. Um, this one came from YouTube. They said, how can I get your contract? <laughs> oh. Hold on. Like I said, I just up, updated the contract video. So follow the instructions in this video. If you started to watch it, so I didn't see this. No, you haven't. But if you say that, that means you didn't watch it completely because you're asking a question that the video is going to answer. How to get the contract, how to fill it out. What else? Um, what else? How to fill it out. For sellers and buyers, how to get it signed electronically easily. All right. Um, she also said you should do a live um, with calling sellers. I guess like to show them, um, you know, what you say or what notes or whatever. Well, to take. I don't know how comfortable I'm with doing that because um, I I don't have that permission. Yeah, you don't have permission. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't. I know they've probably seen other people do it. I'm not comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. No, so, <clears throat> and I don't think I'm that great at it anyway. That's why I get other people that are. All right, this one came from Facebook. They said, "How do you go about getting pictures of a property virtually?" Um, either ask the how to get. How do you go about getting photos of a property virtually? Either ask the owner to do it for you. You may have to give them some upfront incentive, incentive, incentive. Um, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks to do it. They may just do it for free because they're trying to sell their property and know you're not in the same city. You may have to get another wholesaler to do it for you. Maybe a real estate agent or just hire someone off of um, uh, uh, Craigslist gigs. Um, maybe Fiverr or uh, maybe you could post a, a listing to Facebook Marketplace had jobs, right? Yeah, you can do it on there too. All right, we have one on Instagram. Hey, Flip Man, I have a property under contract for 80K and the repairs are 20 to 30. ARV is 140 to 150. Is this a good deal? Give me another number again. 
Um, he has that on contract for 80k. They said repairs is like between 20 to 30k, and then the ARV is 140 to 150. So we're gonna go with 140. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> So, just using the old formula, 140 times 70% um, is uh, 98. So, the repairs are what? 20 to 30. So, we're going to use 30. That's 68,000. What do you got in the contract for? 80. According to that, it, it's tight. It's tight. All right. This is on TikTok. Are you a cash investor? Uh, technically, no. I buy real estate, but I would say no because my intent is so short term. If I can get someone else's money to accomplish the, the end goal, uh, um, that's what I'm going to always, why not always, that's what I'm going to do. All right. This person on Instagram said, I skipped trace some vacant properties that I found from driving for dollars. Some came back with, with names and said, trust. How do I find the trust phone numbers? Um, you may not be able to find a phone number from the trust. You may be able to determine who possible relatives are. Not saying they are part of the trust, but they may know the situation, right? Um, if all fails, you should you know, send something direct mail, send it maybe FedEx or UPS to uh, increase your chances of getting their attention. All right, the one that gave the numbers, um of that property, I think it was, yeah, that property, uh, they said they, the wholesale fee was included. So that's the reason, that I guess, with the 80000 well, 80000 Okay, well, you might have some room there. Um, but uh, always, my man, you, sh you know, that question doesn't have to really be answered by me. You can always use my free deal calculator. And uh, this video, where is it? This video explains how to do that. Just text the letters GD. If you put properties on the contract and unless you know what you're doing, but if you hadn't ran the numbers using like the tools that I offer free, uh, you may be wasting your time. All right. This one came from Jan Gomez on YouTube. Uh, she said, hey, Ty, you're the best. Thank you for the free content. Boom. You're better, Jean. Jan. 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 Okay, Jan. Um, this was from Mr. T. They said, Hey, flip man, I was wondering, are code violation leads good to you um, to get deals? Um, yeah, that those could be if you could get access to those. I could, you know, I never pursued those type of leads myself specifically. Uh, but you know, there should be some motivated sellers in that list of property owners. All right, this one came from Unplugged on YouTube. They said, I have a property under contract in Texas, and I need a motivated buyer. Can you help? We would try. Uh, we would love to partner with you. Text the word, I mean, text the letters 5050 to the number there, and uh, that video will explain how we can how we can get down. We can partner together, possibly. All right. Um, this one came from E. McCoy. I think he's confused about the contract a little bit he said how do you send out your e-contracts how do you send out your contracts through email yeah the video if you text the word i need to keep that up okay. uh, <laughs> if, you, if you text the word contract to the number um uh that'll um get what you're looking for thank you very much on TikTok. <laughs> um, all right. This one says, can you use Zillow for properties? Properties like for to what? To do what? To do what? Um, let's see. This one says, I want to get into bird dogging. What's the best way to start off or find who needs it? Um, what's the best way to let people know you are bird dogging? Uh, use the power of uh, social media. And um, to start reaching out to individuals that are active in within those communities and let them know, hey, you find deals. Now, I wouldn't under I, now my definition of bird dogging is you're going to do everything that a wholesaler does except put the property on the contract. So why leave that money on the table? And what I mean by that, you're going to go out and find the deal. 
negotiate with the seller a great deal, but you just don't put it on the contract and you're going to turn that over to someone for a $500 or $1,000 fee, that may satisfy you because you don't have any paperwork involved to, you know, or oh, you have to take it that next step, you know, but you may be leaving some zeros on it. Ain't no may, you will be leaving some zeros on the table. That's my definition of dirt bird dog. Now, some people just want you to go out there and find vacant houses and they just pay you, you know, five or five dollars or so for every vacant house you find, verified vacant house or whatever. You want to go that route. But my definition is you're gonna basically do everything a wholesaler would do except put it on the contract, which is where the money is at. All right, we have one on Instagram. Where do you find Section 8 houses? Um, I did a TikTok on that that sort of went okay, did okay. Um, but go to this website called gosection8.com. Go, G-O, Section 8, the number 8.com. All right, this one came from Mobile Oil Miami. They said, where does a rookie start? Uh, where does a rookie start? You have started, rookie. You're right here. Um, my YouTube channel is a great source for, especially for beginners. Uh, the videos are not any, any, any order, uh, but it's all there. So make great notes. If one video doesn't answer your question, another will. And plus we have these daily lives. You're here. Welcome aboard. So you've already started because this is live bullets, you know, to get your questions answered by uh, myself. So sometimes others. All right, this one came from John on YouTube. They said, what's up, Flipman? I have a question. How do I wholesale a condemned house if I get one under contract? You would wholesale it. To, how do you wholesale a condemned house? You would wholesale it the same way you would wholesale any other house. Um, it's still going to boil down to uh, repairs. You know, or the repairs uh, make sense based on the price and the ARV. Now, if there's a actual lean against it because the city placed it on a the condemned did list some will do that then that has to be addressed at closing but hopefully they're giving you a price that covers any unpaid liens or taxes or mortgages that are um, attached to that individual slash property we didn't even take those um things there Actually. so be careful all right um this one came from Jantoya Lee, she said, do you tell them you're a wholesaler or investor or cash buyer when calling a seller? Uh, John Toya, you are a in investor. You pay cash for houses. Wholesaling is a form of real estate investing, but most people are not going to know what it is. So you are a cash buyer slash investor. And your firm name. All right, we got another one on Instagram. Can you find out before you go to closing if the house has a lien on it? Can you find out if a house has a lien on it before you go to closing? But that's part of the uh, the title company's job is to determine if this person is actually the owner or who's the owner. Uh, did they buy it and the, buy the property properly as far as the chain of command? And what's attached to it, if anything, what unpaid taxes, mortgages, or liens are, are attached to it. So that's just going to automatically come out in the title process before you even get to uh, being able to close it. All right. Um, let's see. This one is from True King on YouTube. He said, what's up, Footman and ladies and Foot family? Um, he said this is Motivational Monday right here. What up, TK? Um, Woods Lawn and Pressure Washing Service LLC said everything you put out be on point. Wow, man, I love I love the uh, the avatar. Is that what you call it? Yeah, I love the avatar. Wood Lawns and Pressure Washing Services. Um, what what, what market are you in, uh, uh, my man? Just out of curiosity, give you some free free pub here. I hope I can get you a, a, a contract or two, a service or two. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Um, I know you're gonna say no, but someone asked you, could you tell them the ARV of the property? Uh, uh, yeah, we're not set up for that because we got TikTok and Instagram. How and would you? Or how would they uh, get oh. you to do that? Uh, 
yes, 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 yes. I'm just trying to answer. No, no, you had a good question. I'm, that that leads to this. Okay. Be confident in what you're doing. Text the letters A R V for instructions. All right. Um, Gentoya Lee asks, "What does a title company do?" What does a title company do? Let's 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 That's look up the right. actual. Let's Google that. Unpack let's unpack that. Let's get the legal dollars <laughs> defined. Title company. What is a title company? And what does it what does it do? The title company is a third party that works on the behalf of the lender and the buyer. You hire them to research and ensure the title of the home you're buying. So basically, the title company does the due diligence on a property for a lender or a buyer. I guess sometimes a seller just depends or whatever, but to see is this person a really the real owner? Do they owe anything on this property? Also, they will provide insurance, title insurance to say, hey, yeah, everything checked out and we're willing to uh, to put insurance on it that if it ever comes up down the road when you try to sell it or refinance it or whatever, that we ensure our work. So it's like a guarantee you're dealing with the seller. It's a guarantee when you buy it that there no, there's no good, there's not going to be any liens or mortgages or anything attached to it unless you sign off on that. Right. So that's what their job is to basically to do the due diligence on the property itself and or the owner. All right. Um, this one says, Hey, Flip Man, is it wise to contact the homeowner if it's in pre foreclosure that has an auction date of March 1st? Um, is it wise to contact a pre foreclosure uh, owner that's in pre foreclosure with an auction date of March 1st? So, to explain that, whenever you're going through pre foreclosure, that simply means you've stopped paying the bank a certain amount of money and they decide to say, hey, oh, you ain't going to pay us. So, we got, we got to put these folks on you, right? And so, we need our house back to try to recoup some of our money we lended you to buy it. So now you're in pre foreclosure because they have started the legal process of taking the house back via via a foreclosure. So once an auction date is set, that means they literally are going to auction the property off to the public. I think they're obligated to do that. And it's different in each state uh, to give others an opportunity to buy the property at auction. So when that date is set, normally it's out. It's out of the hands of the actual lender. They've turned that over to an attorney. So with the day being the Valentine's Day and March 4th, uh, Mar March 1st is only basically about 15 days away. That's not a lot of time, but it could happen. Assuming, uh, number one, you can speak with the owner. A lot of times it's hard to get them, especially this late in the game, because if they're not paying that bill, they're not paying some of their other bills also. So they're getting a lot of collection calls from the credit card companies, from student loans, uh, automobile uh, lenders that they got a you know car payment with. Um, I can go on and on. Maybe even some utilities are calling them to say, "Hey, why haven't you paid us?" Well, I hadn't paid my house. No, why would you think I'm going to pay you? But anyway, so now, um, can you pursue them? Of course you can. Or do you think you're the only one pursuing them? No. You think they're going to be difficult to reach? In some case, yes. Well, a lot of cases, yes, they're going to be difficult to reach. But hey. Some people run their entire operation around targeting pre foreclosures and make a substantial, uh, a really good living at doing so. Just understand what you're getting into is that uh, there are easier deals out there, generally speaking, than pre foreclosures. And they should be very motivated to sell, but not always the case by no means. They got this uh, world out there. It's, it's, it's almost like it was the metaverse before the metaverse. It's called La La Land. Um, this one says it's from Lawn Wood Lawns Woods Lawn and Pressure Washing Service. You know, being from Birmingham, I'm gonna think it's Wood Lawn. Um, but they're in North Florida, Tallahassee, Florida area. Oh, okay, all right, okay, cool. So North, uh, so in the Tallah Tallahassee area. Mm -hmm. So look up my man Woods uh, if you need uh, lawn care or uh, what is called or pressure, pressure washing. washing. He 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 got you. 
All right. Um, this one came from Shantae on YouTube. She said, who do I get to come in and get an estimate for repairs? Who will do the estimate for repairs? Now, if you're a wholesaler, now you can get a contractor out there. Um, and um, and uh, see if they would do it for you. Now, of course, you can't actually tell them that you're wholesaling. They're going to not probably want to deal with you or whatever. So um, um, they're going to, you know, and then you make it just pay them. Say, hey, I'm trying to get the repairs on this property for a deal that uh, I'm, I'm about to place on the contract. Now, a lot of them, again, if they think they're going to do the work, they just come out and do it. It's just a regular thing. But if you want to keep a relationship, you just may have to pay them each time to go out. But ideally, you can do those for yourself. Now, if you're trying to do it for a house that you want to renovate yourself, then that's another conversation. But for the purpose of wholesaling, technically, you don't need to do that, but could do it. You come up with your own system on estimating repairs. I have a calculator that uh, simplifies it uh, to a degree. It's just a generalization, so it's not set in stone, but normally it works for what we're trying to do. Because basically, if the house is livable, and you know, again, there's some other factors that may go into that, but for the most part, you multiply the square footage times $25. If it's not livable, $40. So that's a good generalization. LaLaLand.com is not available. I was going to register that. This is good thinking. Yeah. La La Planet. That ain't good. That don't sound as good. Does La La what? Planet. La La City. No. That don't sound as good. Does it? I was thinking you know, something else that just came up in my mind. Yeah. You know what I'm All right. Someone asked, "How long have you been doing real estate?" January of two. Well. Well, I educated myself in January of two thousand three. Actually, took action in. Uh, February of 2003, so 19 years this month. Okay. All right. Gotta get 20. 20, old 20. <laughs> um, this one says, That's what a cue. Um, just wondering how to get good at using Dilulator. How to get good at now using what the calculator or they mean prop screen, if they can be more clear. Talking about the deal calculator. You, you want me to read another one? Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this one says, hey, Footman. I didn't know what you was typing, so I thought maybe you was going to like answer her question or something. Mm. Oh, no, I was looking at a domain name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You know, so you on live, so you got to say something. Oh. Okay. Um, this one says, hey, Flip Man, I have a burnt house. Figuring out repair costs would be, I used your normal non-livable formula at $40, or should I raise the amount per square feet? Thank you. Um, yeah, you should raise that. Um, that that's, you know, a burnt house. Depending on how bad, I would at least go up to probably 50. All right. We got one on Instagram. If... If you have someone with 50K and good credit but lives in New York City, should they go out of town and invest in Detroit and or Baltimore? It's affordable. And should they or should they stay somewhere in New York? Right there in New York. Especially if they live there. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, you're familiar. That. See, I didn't know who educated me on that. Um, boroughs and, and correct me, New Yorkians. Boroughs or counties. Boroughs? Yeah. They call them boroughs, like the Brooklyn borough. Oh. Or the Fire borough. Yeah, I didn't know that. Hmm. No, that's what they that's what the dude explains. They say, well, they actually like count. He said yes, they do. What? The guy that he live in Atlanta? I mean he live in New York. Yes, but I think he was answering your question. Oh, the boroughs or counties? Yeah, he, okay. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you replying fast. Well, that's their parishes in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere else are counties. Yeah. Boroughs. Yeah. yeah. Um, New York and New Orleans, they got their own little. Well, that's, yeah, the state of Louisiana is a parish. It's still under that's the French regime. 
All right, this one came from Sarah. She said, I have a good friend that works with a real estate agency um, that have a commercial property for sale. How can I get a contract? Okay. All right. Now, uh, what my girl, Sarah, mm -hmm. Sarah says she has a good friend that's a real estate agent, uh, has a commercial property, a list, I guess, listing. How can she get a contract? Okay. So if it's for sale on the internet, Sarah, Sarah, at the price that they're asking is not a great deal, number one. Okay. Uh, great deals don't last but hours on the internet. Hours once they're posted, if they're priced as a great deal. I'm not saying you can't negotiate it into a great deal. So um, now as for the contract part of it, an agent is only going to use, especially if it's a listing of theirs, they're only going to use uh, the contract that's been approved by the Board of Realtors for that particular state and or market. So they're not going to use this one page contract that I uh, have given away to thousands of people. I can literally say that. Thousands of individuals over the years. All right. Um, this one says. Oh, and happy uh, Valentine's Day to my number one fan, Mother. She says she's Aww. watching every day. She don't know what I'm talking about, but she's watching. I should have said it in the beginning. She probably already checked out. What we about 31 minutes in? She probably already checked out by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, she probably already, I should have said that from the beginning. She already yeah. probably didn't check out. Mama Blue. She don't know. Yeah. Say she loved my. She was singing my singing my um my theme song to me. I said, oh. I said, oh, please. I said, please take a tablet from her, please. <laughs> All right, uh, this one's from Jimmy Weber. He said, I'm having a very hard time getting buyers in a small town, but I have sellers. What should you do? Um, say what? Uh, I'm having a very hard time getting buyers in small towns. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, Mr. Jimmy Weber. All right, that's not uncommon, my man. I, I, I talk about it all the time. See, this business works. See, in order for you to find a great real estate deal, in most cases, you have to talk to a lot of people, right? And so the reason being is that most people are not motivated enough to sell you a piece of real estate cheap enough where they get paid, you get paid, and then you flip it to an investor and they really get paid, right? So in order to do that, you have to have a lot of owners to access. You have to have a lot of people you can target that own real estate. So if you're in a rural area, like the, the, the town that I'm from is less than a thousand people. You could never be successful as a wholesaler there. You may do a wholesale deal every five or six years. Now, if you're in a town, we'll just say even 30,000 people, that's still too small you may be fortunate enough to do maybe one a year. I mean, one a month, maybe two, maybe that, you know, and I, I think you struggle to do it that many then. You may be, well, it still may be tough, right? Now, once you go up the number, then the number of people uh, increase because, you know, life situations dictate, um, what I'm trying to say, dictate uh, people's motivation to sell cheap. Divorce. It's gonna be less people getting divorced in smaller towns. It's gonna be less people married. It's just the numbers are lower. Death. It's gonna be less deaths for a number of reasons. It's gonna be uh, less job or income loss. You know, it just uh, not not enough life transactions that um, spark that need to sell a piece of real estate cheap. So if you're not having a lot of transactions then you're not gonna have a lot of buyers either in most cases. So that's why you're struggling. But what you could do, you could change your focus a little bit, right? Um, depending on your state, um, depending on your, well, it doesn't matter where you are. You could, you could change your focus and start to look for um, multi, I'm sorry, well, multi-family also, but definitely self-storage units in small towns. Now those will be in place. So that means you'll have to get out and drive, you know, uh, in any direction, probably on you know, some of your main drags and you'll see some of those. 
And normally the phone number that's on the property is the owner, right? And you reach out to them, you know, that's where I would love to, to step in with you and partner. Um, 50 units or more, ideally, um, would be the number. We could do less, you know, situation on it, but ideally 50 units or more. So how do I know it's 50 units? You might just literally get out and go count the doors. You know what I'm saying? So you may just have to count one side of a building and you normally don't know what's on the other side of the building uh, in most cases. Um, so that that's you're not facing anything uncommon to anyone that lives in a rural area. So you ask yourself, what's the largest city? What's the largest city to me? How far is it? It may only be 30 minutes from you, the a city of over a million people or two or three hundred thousand people. Now you're in the game or 150 would be a good number. You know, ideally 250, but 150 would be good also. Um, so before the next question, uh, if you want to get, uh, I need me a van of white, <laughs> a van of black. Uh, so text the word Gator to the number. If you want to join us on the live stream and get your questions answered, get moved to the front of the line. Also, what am I saying? Any silver engineers or architects out there? I have a use for your skill that we could get paid greatly over and over again throughout the country. I'll let you boy. All right. Um, this one says I got any of them. I got those any of those type of individuals watching me. You think? I'm sure. No, I'm talking about today, Jessica. Today. Well, maybe. To know. this day. <laughs> 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 Something's wrong with you. All right. I got you. They might not think, you know what I'm saying? But this dude's an idiot. They might say, this dude is an idiot. I'm not listening to him. But anyway, let's go. All right. This one says, I have another question. Flip man, I'm getting deals sent to me daily, most of them from other wholesalers. Mm. Would you be interested in JVing those deals? Mm. In most cases, uh, what's that name? Mr. Mr. T. Oh, no, Mr. T. Mr. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, Mr. T, normally no, because a lot of times the deals that are being sent to you by other wholesalers, they don't even have it on the contract directly with the owner. So generally speaking, no, we pass on those. That, that's not hard to do is get on a list with some with investors or whatever. Not saying it's not deals there by no means. It's just it's already hard enough for us to find the ones that are deals. And so um, you really need to be dealing directly with the owner. Again, I'm not saying that they're not deals there on what you're being sent. I'm just telling you it's what we have to go through on a daily basis. We prefer that you be dealing. You're the, you're the contract holder with the seller. All right. We got one on Ken TikTok. Bob. Welcome back, Ken. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We got one on TikTok for a truck driver slash real estate investor always on the road would you suggest using a property manager well you don't um a, a, you're on the road as a truck driver a property manager wouldn't be the solution for you in the sense of wholesaling but it could be that could be someone they are already in the real estate business that could be um uh a, a rep someone that represents your interest on properties, I never thought about property managers. I always say real estate agents, well, sometimes agents are property managers also. But I always say other wholesalers, real estate agents, family or friend, but a property manager could be someone also that uh, could uh, work with you. All right. Um, this one says, hey, Footman, what is a good way to start a conversation with a seller? Uh, what, is a, what is a good way to start a conversation with a seller? Well, from what from what standpoint are they already trying to sell the property? Or you're calling them out of the blue. If you're calling them out of the blue, then it's just the opening statement that you're going to use. Hi, my name is Ty. I'm calling to speak to the owner about buying their property at 123 Main Street. Do I have the right person? All right. This one says when I'm finding a cash buyer, do they have to be in the same zip code as the house? my seller is selling in uh someone says do they have to be in the same zip code by no means they don't even have to be in the in the same country you know so no 
What right. is yours? This one says, um, I had a seller tell me I could buy the house if I could tell him if it had a clear title. How do I find out who is on the title besides what PropStream says? Okay, well, they have a seller that said that they could buy the house if if they, if they could identify, uh, I guess, prove that there was a clear title. Uh, and she said, how does she determine that by just looking at props? They really can't. That's what a title company is for. Um, Shantae, am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Sh Sh Shantae? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just <laughs> don't know. Um, so, um, dang, just, um, give it a guess. Uh, answer her question. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, um, you really would have need to, if, if that's the stipulation, which you're going to be risking some money, you probably just going to pay a title company for that. that. That would be my recommendation. Now, they need to give you a price that's worth the risk of you possibly losing that money because it's. They have no no say so in that property. Hopefully that's not the situation. Hopefully their name is. Oh, they say they want a clear title, so their name is on the thing is 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 registered as the owner. They just want you to say that it's a clear title or not. So now one thing you can look for it in, in prop stream if it shows it. Some states it does, some it doesn't. Look on uh, the transaction history, and when you see that last transaction, which should be in that person name being the the buyer. Look and see if a warranty deed was used or what type of loan, if any, was used. Hopefully, especially if it says uh, FHA. All right. Um, let's see. This one says, did you close your first deal in your state or out of state? And is it better to wholesale in my state only or anywhere is possible? Well, it was here locally in the, in the state within the city that I live in or the metro area that I live in. So is it better to close in your state or not? I used to be on the side of doing it in your backyard first, but um, I've come around to um, nothing prevents you from doing both at the same time, period. If you got the, uh, the, 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 the resources in place, nothing prevents you from targeting city, properties in your cities and other cities. Ideally, you like to have someone representing you in the other cities I mentioned earlier, uh, real estate agent, property manager, another wholesaler, family or friend. So the world is yours. All right. Um, they were telling you congratulations for having been wholesale for almost 20 years now. Yeah. Real um, OK, she's the one who asked about earlier about saying um, she wanted to get better at using batch leads. But she said not the calculator. So what was the other one you said? Oh, um, okay. Yeah, prop string. Okay, she's trying to get better uh, uh, bass leads. Now, if you sign up through uh, day later, I can get someone at bass leads to uh, train you, to onboard you, to uh, troubleshoot or to uh, get you more comfortable with using it. Um, how would she get that going with you? Uh, just text me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, this one says, do you take calls from people? Do I take calls from people? My number is all over the place on the internet. So, yeah, it, you know, I do. But normally now, okay. if you call me and I feel like you haven't taken advantage of my video, you start asking me questions and I'll know I'm going to send you to my channel. Don't think I'm being rude. I'm going to do it in a very nice way. But that means you haven't done done your you, you haven't taken advantage of what's available to you. And time is money. So I'm not going to sit up there and just answer questions that my videos can answer, period. Now, if you want to talk about a deal that you have on the contract, totally different conversation. But you just want to call to talk <laughs> and see if I'm real or not. Yeah, I'm real as the black skin on my face. So, you know, but, you know, hey, take advantage of those videos. So, but I'm, 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 my number's out there everywhere, so. I answer actually answer the phone, so I ain't got it going on like that. I answer. All right, this one says, "What's up, Flip? Can you give me some ideas on the wholesaling business name? I didn't want an LLC name to scare sellers away." So you can brand yourself in all types of ways, um, you know, all types of ways. I think I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna read, even though I got some other websites. And I'm, you know, I, I think would offers or free make a good website name for sellers? Y'all think? 
Y'all think so? So that, you know, like, uh, we can always talk about an offer. They ain't going to charge you nothing to get an offer. That's my thinking on it. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, so it would just be offer, which I already got this ready, so I ain't got to worry about nobody stealing it. Offers are free.com, and I do have the A-R-E, too. Offers are free. <laughs> you wrong. You can leave somebody somewhere. Huh? Offers are free.com, right? And so, yeah, so I totally agree. It, it, that that branding is everything. It's like uh, this company that I was looking at in Atlanta on something I'm trying to do, they have a domain name that's, let me see, to, let me see. Um, I, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to text it to you, Asana, and okay. you tell me how many letters it is. You know, I'm, just give me one second, guy, because this is important. Can you answer the best? I'm, 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 that's, that's what I'm about to do. Dang. You ain't got to do nothing but count them. It ain't going to be. You got a question? Yeah, this is my personal question. Go ahead. So how you mentioned the LLC, is that bad? Like what? No, no. It, it's, <laughs> well, well you, know, you know how we call people, we say cash buyer or whatever. You don't say cash buyer LLC, you just say cash buyer. Or whatever. But when people look at that, people like, Ooh. um, I, I'm not sure what he's, uh, uh, I'm not sure what what he's uh, what he's referring to. Um, I, maybe he needs to explain that a little bit. I'm not sure this is like correct or not, but like even when you have a business and it's an LLC, you don't have to have it. Like, Yo, yeah, you know, you don't have it to. It don't have to be um, your business. Illegal. No, it don't have it's to be that. Yeah. Yeah, like Facebook might be Facebook Inc. They change it to Meta now, but it may be Facebook Inc. They're not going to say a Facebook Inc. Yeah. They're going to just say Facebook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it don't have to. All right. This one says, what's up, Flip? If I find a deal and put it under contract, will you help me find a buyer? I live in Illinois. And will I have to pay you? 34 letters, but you did not answer that guy's question about ideas for a business owner. I did. We, we told him that, you know, you don't have to include the LLC net part of it in, your, in the name when, you, when you're talking about it. Or when you, like, register. Well, you don't have to say, um, I don't know, um, uh, Jefferson County House Buyers dot com, which is too long. Jefferson County House Buyers llc.com now you say jefferson county housebuyers.com it has to be short whatever well that ain't short but i'll just give an example yeah ideally you want it to be short as possible you, you want it to be easy to remember and normally mm -hmm. short makes it easy to remember ideally if it can say if your name can also tell what you do you hit a home run now you don't have to register.com by no means. There's other it's hundreds of extensions out there now. But the common person knows dot com. Right? And so you get so like I have flipman.net, I lose because I don't have flipman.com. You know what I'm saying? I lose just automatic traffic because people that know nothing about the internet outside of sending an email, doing a little searching. And they hear flipman.net. Now they ain't gonna hear dot net. They gonna say, oh, I'm gonna go look for flipman.com. Even though I pound the pound the pound, used to pound it like I used to, or whatever. So you're gonna lose something because the dot com is definitely the dominant. Just like in crypto, Bitcoin is the dominant. You might not know nothing about cryptocurrency, but you know the term. Most people know Bitcoin. They might not even know about Ethereum and Solana and Cardano, all those different cryptos or whatever, because Bitcoin is, is king or whatever. And it's somewhat hard to overthrow that. Not saying the other ones can't make you as much money or more or whatever. It just, you know, it's just the way it is. That's part of branding. It's like some people will identify a soda or uh, give, give me a Coke. They don't really mean literally bring me a Coca-Cola. That's how good of a brand that they've done. That means just bring me a, a soda. It, it, it really means like any kind of soda. Right. You know, so that's that's branding. You can't put a oh, my God. That's why you will see a billboard and all it has just the name of a business there. Won't even say what it is. You may know what it is because they've done it so much over the years, but they just constantly 
pounding in your mind to it's just burnt there. So when you think about uh, car insurance, you think Allstate or you think uh, State Farm or whatever. That's why you see Chris Paul on those, con you know, that's just pounding in your head. You know, like they'll do Super Bowl commercials last night and they won't, they'll do the whole commercial and at the last five seconds of a 30 second commercial, throw up the name of the business. That's branded. You know, it ain't nothing but, you don't even know what it is. Like uh, Coinbase, which is a crypto um, currency platform, they just put up a, um, a Q code on the screen, like, like a video game, just going up and down and down. I didn't chase it. I didn't chase it. A lot of people did, though, because they were just that curious. When you got over 100 million people watching that, we can't get a million, a million to pull it up. It caused their website to crash. That branding is powerful, boy. 34 letters in that. Yeah, 34 letters in that. Yeah, terrible name. But they get they making it happen though. All right. Yeah, I guess we yeah, I didn't want to ram it on. But no, you asked something, Jeff. I, I already asked the question. I just never oh. wanted to make I it. I never did answer. No. Uh, um, I never did answer. Not this. It's another one. I had already oh. read it. But we went back to this. Yeah, we you see what I'm saying. We're going to read it again. If I find a deal and put it under contract, will you help me find a buyer? I live in Illinois and I will have, and will I have to pay you? <laughs> this, <laughs> this video here, right here, is explaining, my man. Just text 5050. Um, we, we can get down. All right, so let's get into the topic. Um, what's the topic today? So, the, what's the best phone number? Uh, to use for a wholesaling houses, and I spelled the word "gimme" wrong. I think did we? You did. You look about to ask. We did. Didn't notice it. All right, <laughs> I get to change it. Uh, thumbs up if you like the thumbnail. Devil emoji if you don't. Um, so um, what we got here? Um, so best numbers. What's the best? phone numbers to use for wholesaling houses, which I have a couple of videos on that. And when I started, um, I had the phone number. I had, okay, when I started, I started working at Bell South in 1998, July of 1998. And so in training, you know, part of one of our exercises was to set up our own phone numbers. And so we could choose the phone numbers. And so I had the phone number, I chose two phone numbers, but they were landlines, 205, 444-3030 and 205-444-3020. Those are some killer phone numbers, especially that 3030. You all agree? That is so easy to remember. I hate I ever let that number go, right? Both of those numbers. All right, but um, so I used it when I started. And my intent, I didn't even know I was going to do real estate. That was in 98. I didn't start doing real estate until 2003. But I knew I was already my entrepreneurial mind. It hadn't made a dime and nothing, but the mindset was there. I knew I was going to be able to use those numbers for a business one day. Right. And so even though I was using them for personal numbers, I took both of them. And so. Um, my point being on that is, so when I started out, um, now we didn't have smartphones were not as, as, as affordable as they are now. When did I get a smart, when did I get a cell phone? I got a cell phone in 1999. So I guess I already had them, but it's still one, you know, you still, <laughs> <y 'all, laughs> and this was still later on in the game. Do you all remember that calls used to be Free after 7 p.m. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Your minutes were free after like 7. Yeah. And then and then it went from long distance was free after that time frame. It was over with. Huh? I didn't have no long Yeah, so anyway, so that was powerful. So so I was using my landlines as my as my numbers. So I actually started out using uh, my actual own numbers, but we didn't have all the services that exist now as third party services that give you all that flexibility to uh, to set up your numbers. So 
phone calls and phone numbers are still very important. As, as, as much as, as, as big as the internet is in our lives and the way we communicate, whether it's through social, social media or through your website, filling out forms on your site or whatever, phone numbers are still a big player in the game, right? Either you by you calling them, people calling you or whatever, it's still a big player. So a lot of people say, well, should I just get another smartphone, another cell phone? Uh, I said, no, don't even take on that additional expense. Um, you can do a third party service, which I have no affiliation with them. They need to pay me, though. Uh, it's Bumber. And um, we use that. Now, there's some other services out there probably better than that. But that's just what we've been using for a few years now. And so the, it just has a lot of different features that it offers. Uh, you can do call forwarding. So now you don't have to buy another phone. The existing phone that you have, you can use that because you can forward your calls to your existing number. And you can set it up where you know that those calls are coming from the number that they dial for your business, whatever it is, whether it's wholesaling or not. Okay. Or you can have the direct number to come through, but you can always go back and check your account. Even if you miss a call, all the calls they have come through. The best feature that I like is you can have all of your calls recorded. So now you can reference those back to, uh, you can reference, go back and reference those calls if need be for you actually having conversations with sellers and or buyers or whoever. And if you have someone that's working with you or someone you hired, such as a VA, you can go back and screen the calls to see, hey, they need to do a little more of this, less of that. They, need, they should have said this or should have said this. So you can somewhat improve on uh, the calls that are either being made or and or received. Um, some of them, some of the numbers on there will allow you to lose fax, which is not a big deal. You can set up voicemail if you wanted to. It allows you to text uh, individuals as you wanted to. So, uh, and then they, the app, when I first got it, the app wasn't that great, but it's pretty good now. So now you can download the app to your small smartphone and you can actually make calls directly from your smartphone. Smartphone, you don't have to be on your laptop or desktop um, to do that. So, um, so having getting a, an additional phone, and that's what I initially did. I bought this for uh, one of the phones we're using for um uh, TikTok, but I've had two phones and it looks crazy. Uh, whatever. I don't worry about looking crazy. Uh, can't have it anyway. So, uh, but I've had two phones for whew, since 2000, probably, you know, both of these same two numbers and the, the 205 492 number has been out there uh, on my YouTube channel ever since I've uh, started doing this. Um, I'm rambling now. Uh, and the reason I put the number out there, guess why I put that number out there when I start putting the videos out there. Because my intent was doing what we're doing right now to be able to network with individuals all over the country. We do deals together. Um, I remember I was listening to the radio one day. And this ain't story time. This is all related. I was listening to the radio. I got some story times built up, too. Um, uh, I was uh, listening to the radio. And the DJ was interviewing this guy. And he just kept saying his name and his phone number. Do you all remember who that was? Oh, Mike Jones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike Jones. Mike Jones. 281. Now, that one is number, but I forget. Who, who remembers Mike Jones' number? I, I know somebody going to put it in. What, what is it? Wasn't it 8004? What, what was the other one? No, 281. I know. Is that what it was? Yeah, that's right. 281-334-8800. Whoever, somebody going to put out there, man. When I heard that, I thought that was the most brilliant, you know what I had ever okay, seen. You got it. 281-334-8800. Yeah. Hey, I, that was the some of the most brilliant stuff I had ever heard before. He was the first one I had heard did it do it. The way he was giving out his phone number, I, I and you know, 
They, oh my God, yeah, Mike Jones was for them. Uh, they probably ride the same time. You're right. They probably ride the same time. I think that song came. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I thought so. When I started, you know, this flip man stuff, never before I even came up with that name or whatever, um, I just say, hey, man, I'll just put my number out there or whatever. Now, you know, <laughs> I don't know whatever happened to Mike's number. Somebody, some, someone has that because that's still being played or whatever. I'm sure he ended up make, benefiting from it greatly financially. But um, it just was something different. I, I just thought it was brilliant. So, but they ain't got nothing to do what we talking about. I just thought that was really re You finna call it now? Okay, so, um, but yeah, but anyway, there's too many third party services out there that will allow you to um, to not have to buy another phone if you don't need it or whatever, that you can manage your entire business you know, with, a, you know, with a smartphone and app. What did what it say to you? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that was brilliant. Back then, didn't want me. Now I'm hot. <laughs> All on me. Down here. <laughs> I, I seen him on a recent interview or whatever. You know, he said he still make money for all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? He said his stuff up right or whatever. You know. Maybe some of that stuff will take off on TikTok one day. My boy can get some more bread. Probably. Yeah, yeah. we'll want it. Yeah. Go ahead and play it. Do TikTok though. Yeah, back then. Bring them back. Back then, didn't want me. Yeah. Um, let's see. I can't Love find it. my place. What? Uh, is it plugged up? Is it charged? Is, is it ring light on them? Oh, it's out. Oh, no, that's mine. It's, it's oh, it's on. It's on. Um, Tap it. Right, so yeah. It's fine. All right, um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna play this song tonight when I was used to. Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna play this song tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still on. All right, this one says What's the best strategy for starting wholesaling when you have a full time job? Well, let's break out the old calculator here. <laughs> how many How many hours per week? How many hours per week do you work? Let, let's get that question answered first. How many hours per week do you work? Who is that? Mark Anthony Masters? Mm -hmm. How many hours a week do you work? Let's start there. Let's go to the next question. We'll wait till you post this question. All right. This one says, New York is very competitive. How is that a good thing? Why can't I wholesale in another state like New Jersey, Connecticut, Maryland, Boston, et cetera, which are close to New York? You can. You can. Uh, De Devin. Mm -hmm. You are dealing. Oh my God! Let me, let's 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 do this. You know I like facts. I like to deal in facts, right? Uh, NYC metro population. Twenty million. New York City metro pop population is twenty million people. It is not possible to have too much competition. 20 million people. You could do a hundred deals in that market and no one knows you existed. That may mean five or six million dollars though in your pocket and no one know you exist in the real estate world. For real, 20 million people. It is not possible to be oversaturated or too much com competition. <laughs> All right. All right. This one says, I'm direct to seller on. Uh, with hotels, do you or anyone on your team, or is it? It is. It you out. And it's out. Yeah. It's on crazy. Instagram. It's crazy. 
It's got to be them. It's Maybe because I started other. screaming. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Started screaming at those. Oh, some no. terrorist attack or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, nah, we're going to have to like, let him text it and all that stuff. Cause, like, but don't worry about it. We, you know we about it. We're about to be over in the window. Okay. okay. Um, this one says, um, I'm direct to seller with hotels. Do you or anyone on your team, or is you or anyone on your yeah. team interested? Most definitely, Mr. Rip, Rip, Rivera. Am I saying that right? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yes, sir, boss. Um, if they're already selling, how would I start the conversation? If they're already selling, oh, that's easy. Uh, if they're already selling for sale by owner. Hi, um, I noticed your property is for sale at 123 Main Street. Um, is it still available? Yes, it's still available. Okay, great. I'll just ask you a few questions about it and just go into it. They already want to sell. That's easy. That's the easy one as far as conversation. Now, still getting the price that works may not be as easy, but to start the conversation, they want to sell, you want to buy. Those are easy. All right. Um, let's see. This is a good one. She said, how do you handle those return calls? Um, like you left a voicemail when cold calling someone that come in when you're not near your computer or driving. Oh, that's fine. You, you can just let them know that. Uh, say, hey, um, yeah, we reach out to a lot of uh, different people. I'd love to take the information uh, on your property and I can follow back up you, with you once I get to my laptop so I can, um, you know, do the proper research on your property and, you know, make a fair cash offer to you. Um, that's part of the reason why uh, services like Bumber, Bumber with a V as in Victor instead of number um, are important because now you don't have to actually write everything down. It's automatically being recorded. So now you can reference back to the call. Um, let's see. And make notes on it. Uh, no, do whatever you're going to do with it. All right. This one says, I want to start wholesaling in Southern Connecticut area. Um, what info do you need to get a flip started? What FM info do you need to get a flip started? Well, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jermaine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Jermaine is still just going to boil down to the same thing. You're going to identify the areas of your market you want to target and uh, what form of marketing or lead generation you're going to use to start generating daily leads. So what I mean by that is, um, number one, you want to identify the areas that are selling houses the most and then maybe work your way down and choose those zip codes uh, that you want to target and then you say hey i'm best at cold calling i would probably better at text max text messaging i think i can get away with bandit signs in this area i don't have any money so i may need to do driving for dollars i don't even have a car so now i may need to try to co-wholesale some deals and uh, build a buyer's list first so it's just going to depend on your situation and resources did my man ever say how many hours a week he worked i want to answer that before we we didn't have anybody come in the gator room today what is wrong with you guys? Everybody out, everybody out um, uh, flying around like Cupid today? And that was, that's what's going on. Do we have anybody you watching right now? Yeah, huh? They're at work on their laptop. Okay, that's what's happening. Okay. No, he never answered. He never answered. Okay. Um, all right. Just uh, Ken, I mean, uh, Jessica, is it a lot smoother for you today? Hmm? Is it a lot smoother for you today? What you mean? You have to do less. Cause you got oh, to it's not hard to do both of them. Okay, well, Ken, we'll leave. Well, Ken, you go back. Wait, 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 wait. But they want asking questions. They just be looking, don't they? I'm cute. You said it's over. <laughs> hey, you're lying to you. Why lose this weight? Why ain't gonna be over with? Y'all ain't gonna make this stuff. Oh, we should do that. Like a money loss. That's what I need. I need to. I need to start. I need to start tracking. We need to start videoing that. We ain't gonna put. We ain't gonna. We ain't gonna post none of that. We gonna just. We gonna. Cause I might. I might. Hey, I might. I, I might come out of rehab. Hey, hey. Hey, y'all ain't gonna find, find me on the bridge somewhere with a a, a, a box of uh, French fries. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Um, oh boy. All right. Um. <laughs> Again, we need to still do that video, just. We do. Well, we're gonna be. Our, well, we'll talk about. It.
That's okay. funny. Now that's funny. It is. That was hilarious. It's other people were doing it, or that was just him. Other people doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what you want to? Uh, how many more you want to do? Oh, we we good. We good. All right. All right, guys. So we've been rolling pretty good. Hour and ten minutes. Um, make sure if you want to partner with me, text five zero five zero to the number. That's for houses. For apartments, text units. The word units, so we can partner up. On many stories or uh, multifamily that slash apartment buildings, silver engineers, architects, let's partner, let's get rich, er, together. Holla at your boy. We'll see you on the flip side. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 524